kind of start off with some comments about the uh, win today? Uh, I am really, really proud of the way this team is growing up. Um, and, and one of the things that we've talked about is the fact that um, with so many good teams in our league and so many teams that bring different strengths every night, we can't guard everybody the same way. Um, and so about three games ago, I asked them to allow me to change the defensive game plan a little bit every game. You know, we're going to, some games we're not going to leave one person. Some games we're not going to leave two. Some games we're going to double down. Other games we're not. Um, and I'm so, so pleased and so proud of the job they've done just focusing on that game plan. And I thought it made a huge difference for us uh, at Young Harris. Um, and then again tonight against a really good shooting team, we knew that there were kids we just couldn't walk away from. North Georgia may be the best team in the league when it comes to just hitting open shots. And so our goal going into this game was just to not give them any. And I thought that we did a pretty good job with that uh, tonight. And I think that just speaks to us growing up a little bit, maturing and understanding what we've got to do to get wins. I know Leisure got <laughs> off to a really fast start offensively. She had a pretty well-rounded game today, didn't you think? I complimented Lay in the locker room for her defense. Um, one of the things that we have really been on her about uh, is just her lateral movement, um, moving her feet laterally, staying between her man and the rim, and not making it so easy. You know, we were going to bring a double um, on the Hutchins kid because she's such a, a skilled post player. Um, but I told Lay, you've got to guard her like you're not getting any help. And I thought that she did a great job, you know, um, and, and, I, and we brought that out in the locker room just now that she did a great job moving laterally, staying between her and the basket. Um, even came out of the game with five blocks. I told her I was going to check with uh, with Michael and see if that was some kind of career record for her here at, at Francis Marion because, you know, five blocks and a laser watch don't really go hand in hand when we're talking about her. So, um, but yeah, she, she's always been that kid that gives us good things offensively. Um, she sparks us a lot of times and I've told her when I put Lay on the floor, it's because I need offense. Um, and so if she can become that kid over our next 10, 11 games that we actually can go to on the defensive side and, and count on the defensive side as well, um, I just think that makes us so much better. And I thought she did a great job tonight understanding what we needed from her. Back to your initial comment about changing defenses depending on your opponent. When you first came in and took over the job this year, you basically wiped the slate clean, started from scratch, and now almost midway through the season. Are you doing that again with your team? And, and how much confidence does that relate to them that you're confident that they can adapt to different changes? In well, I, I think what we did coming in, um, we did. We, you know, They knew we were going in a completely different direction, particularly on the defensive side of the ball. But now we haven't really changed everything. We've, we laid a foundation early that defense was going to be key for us, that we were going to have to be a team that relied on being able to guard people night in and night out. And now that they've got that down, that they've got the basic fundamentals and they understand how important it is, now we can actually change a game plan. Um, because if we come in and one day we say we want to hedge a ball screen and then the next day we want to trap a ball screen, I've got a group of kids that can do either or. And so depending on what that team's strengths are, they're now allowing me to kind of make some adjustments based on what the other team does well. And, uh, you know, for a coach, that's invaluable just to be able to make those adjustments and know that your team is going to focus on stepping on the floor and getting it right. So basically like te uh, teaching math, you've got to start with the add. You know, <laughs> right, the right, exactly. Before you get to yes, as the mother of a seven-year-old, <laughs> you have to know your math facts first, and then you can, you can move on to all the other stuff. Yeah, definitely. How difficult was it to get your team motivated to play today just because of the oddball start time on Monday? It's, it's a holiday and the different things that went into today's game. This team is actually a little weird. Um, and so, I, so, so you don't know from one day. I have found that the early evening week games, midweek games, are harder for us in terms of energy and focus than a 1.30 afternoon start. And then today, they didn't have to get up and go to class. And so we got up at 9. We had a really, really good high energy shoot around for about 45 minutes. I felt really good when we walked out of the gym this morning because it was, it was clear that they were locked in, they, they were awake, you know. Um, so just those little things that sometimes you don't know how kids are going to react, um, you know, make a whole, a whole lot of difference. So um, for us, it's been the, been the earlier weeknight games that we've had to, you know, kind of find a little bit of energy for, and that's something we'll keep working on. Sure, obviously you guys have only lost three games, but you guys have been resilient every time you've lost. I mean, and you've come back down with a couple wins. Um, where's that coming from? I mean, um, I think that, one, we've got kids who now have, have gotten comfortable winning. They like winning. 
Um, and so as crazy as that might sound, uh, when we walked in the game after the Pem in the locker room after the Pembroke game, I told him, remember this feeling. You need to remember what this feels like because we haven't done much of this this season, and you need to lock in on what this feels like as opposed to the other 12 or 13 times this year that you've walked out of the locker room really relaxed, feeling really good. Okay, let's go get ready for the next one. Um, we really tried to create as a staff just an atmosphere that next day in practice that basically said that one's done. Here's what we didn't get done. We put the film in front of them, and we probably sat in the film room that next day for about 45 minutes and watched that game and identified what we didn't do well. Um, and okay, now let's get on the floor and let's have two really good practices to get ready for the next one. And they just responded really, really well. And so I think just to be a, a, a group right now that has locked in on winning as, as something we really enjoy doing and also understanding that when we do it the right way, usually we're going to get the result that we want. Um, and so getting them to bounce back proved to be, um, you know, not nearly as difficult as I would have thought maybe it would be. I know you, you guys don't want to lose any games, obviously, but you have to feel pretty good. I mean, you got a bunch of home games now coming up. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't think you, get, you think you guys are in a pretty good pretty good shape right now. Right, right. I, 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 I feel really good about where we are. Um, and so the, I think the key for us is to feel good about what we've done without getting too comfortable with where we are, but just you know, continuing to want a little bit more, um, continuing to identify what we can do better. I mean, even in wins. And that's the difference in a win and a loss, and that's what makes it really difficult as a coach. Because when you win, it's hard to convince kids that they're doing things wrong. But when you lose, oh, they're ready to listen. And so, you know, what we've got to do, I think, as a staff, is continue to put things in front of this group that we can do better. Yeah, we won some games, but we aren't doing everything right. And so here's what we've got to continue to do over the next 10, 11 games to get better so that we are a better basketball team two weeks from now than we are today. And so as I think as long as we can stay with that mindset, and it's great to win. I, you know, I, I said that this morning in shoot-around. We were all kind of loose, and we were, you know, we were, we were working. But, you know, there's just a little bit of a different air you know, up there when, when, you're, when you're successful. And so we'll just continue to be honest about what we've got to work on, what we've got to do better. Um, but at the same time, I think the confidence continues to grow as we continue to get wins against good basketball teams. Such as what, can, what concerns you even at 15-3 and three and 6-3 and three in the league? What are you seeing maybe that you still need to work on? Yeah, did you watch this rebound today? Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we, we got a rebound. Um, we, we still... Uh, we're athletic as a group, um, and I've got a couple that are as athletic as anybody in the league, um, and we're still not as fundamental about rebounding as we need to be. Um, and so we talk about it, and we talk about it, and we work on it in practice, and then we get in games, and we still want to jump instead of putting a body on somebody and blocking out. Um, I think that we could still be a little bit more efficient with our zone offense. We're seeing a lot of people zone us um, because we're really hard to keep out of the lane when you don't. And I think we've still got to work a little bit on not settling for long shots in our zone offense and really executing offense and getting the looks that we want. Um, you know, I, I could run you off a, a pretty good list. You know, there, there, there are a lot of things that, that we do well, but not that we do as well as we need to. And so that's, that's got to be the standard. We just can't get comfortable um, because, you know, we, we do have some losses, and those are teams that we could potentially see again um, in the right scenario in a conference tournament or something like that. So we've got to continue to work to make sure that we're, that we're getting better every time we step on the court. Well, I'm going to actually ask that question for real. I mean, you did, you, you had a good offensive night, but you were, you know, you looked like you were trying to do some work on the defensive end. What would you say? What what did the coach tell you? Coach challenged me a lot in practice to move my feet on defense and stay between the man and the basket and contest all shots. Don't make it easy for them. Yeah. Um, did you did you come into today with an idea that, that uh, you might be the one to kind of get, get your team rolling offensively as well? Was that the plan? No, we just came in with the plan, share the ball, play ball. I didn't know. When I looked up, I had the first 10 points. I was like, I just kept playing. <laughs> How important was that quick start to get off to a big lead early, kind of get some, maybe some confidence going for your team? Um, it's good. But one thing about our team is our defense really starts our offense. So for our offense to start our defense this time, it made us get up in their jerseys more. And we, we did good on the defensive end as a whole. Um, can you just speak about the um, 
the kind, I guess the team's been kind of resilient this year. You guys haven't lost a lot of games, but every time you've lost, you seem to to be able to bounce back. Um, what's that take? It takes a lot. It hurts to lose. And when we can figure out what it is that we're doing wrong to cause that loss and we, we're able to fix it, then I think that's what's getting us back uh, to winning again the next game. How odd is a game like today? It's a holiday. you got an afternoon game. No school on a Monday. It's a little bit – it's almost like a Saturday, mm-hmm. but it wasn't. Is, is that a little bit more difficult to get up for? Um. Yeah, and no. I say no because we just had a Saturday game, so we're used to it already. And yes, because, I mean, all the students are here, and – it's a holiday and we plan, so I mean, we got to focus. It's a, it's a thing of focus on the holiday, so I think we'd be good at that. Anytime you hold a team, I guess, less than 60 points, you guys are pretty happy with that? Is that, I mean, is that, what, what kind of defensive goals generally do you guys have going into games? Um, get, in, get in that jersey, don't make it easy for nobody. Pressure, um, not so much turn them over, but make the shot as hard as, as possible for them. And one shot, rebound, rebound, rebound.